show using any three poems from Poems of Black Africa show that the poets uh, carry out satire on contemporary society. The satire can be on different themes. It can be on bad governance. It can be on poor leadership. It can be on moral decadence. It could be on man's inhumanity. Or it could be on war. In the casualties, Clark satirizes those who provoke war and leave the innocent people to suffer behind. Because no matter those who fight or those who are innocent, everyone is a casualty because they will lose one thing or the other in the course of the war. In, at the end of the war, we will only have celebrated cases of Kwashoko, where children will be malnourished. They also satirize man's inhumanity in the screens. You could hear the screams of those who mourn for their dead as they have been killed and abandoned in the fields for their corpses to be eaten by animals. Their skeletons have decayed. And we are also told that even women with breastfeeding women are not spared to show the brutality of the apartheid regime against native black South Africans. It is also satire on moral decadence in flora. Flora changes men, breaks their heart, and destroys them emotionally. In addition, her love for this man is not that which comes from the heart, but love that is based on how much the person has in the pocket, as she falls in love with the politician who owns a lot of property. It is also about poor leadership from her politicians. In no coffin, no grave, Angira tells of a politician who spends most of his time in the nightclub enjoying himself with women, whereas his electorate do not even have mosquito nets or food to eat. He had wanted to be buried in a wonderful casket and there should be a lot of drinks. He lives in a mansion. Unfortunately for him, he is shot in front of the nightclub where he is abandoned to be eaten by vultures. Such is the type of punishment or end that will befall politicians who do not take care of their electorate. There is bad governance in rulers. As Dipoko decries, African leadership that do not have a roadmap for their countries. They rule countries which are wretched landscape, yet they enjoy themselves in their castles in chandeliers. And it says these, shat these castles are just like boats that are in very risky water. This is to tell you that all is not well. And the only way by which this can be brought to an end is when the people rise up and there's a rebellion. There are other many things you can talk about, corruption and so on and so forth.